Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 7th september the session will be important and today we will be discussing many important current affairs so do pay attention and note making will be really beneficial for all of you before that Yesterday I gave you some homework questions. So Tanya has given all the correct options. So you can check your answers from this current slide. So congratulations Tanya, all your answers are right. And I hope for whatever exam you are preparing, best of luck for that. And I hope you get success in your life. So congratulations for that. Let's start with the session friends. PM Shri Yojana. PM Shri Yojana. What is this PM Shri Yojana? First of all, remember that PM Shri stands for Prime Pradhan Mantri. Shri here stands for School for Rising India. I repeat, School for Rising India. Highly important friends. This scheme, this Yojana was recently announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Highly important. This was launched on the occasion of Teachers Day. When do we observe Teacher's Day? Teacher's Day is observed on 5th of September. In whose memory do we observe Teacher's Day? Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, who was the first Vice President of India and second President of India. Alright, so remember PM Shri, that is your Pradhan Mantri School for Rising India. This Yojana was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Teacher's Day that is observed on 5th of September in the memory of Dr. S. Radhakrishnan who was the first Vice President and second President of India. This was related to as the name suggests Schools for Rising India. So it was related to education. This Yojana under which 14,500 schools will be selected to develop and upgraded across India. How many school? 14,500 schools will be selected Pan India, which will be developed and uh, upgraded across India. These schools will be equipped with modern infrastructure that will be including labs. What they all will be including here. You can see this scheme will provide schools with better opportunities, better smart classes, libraries, school equipments, art rooms and all the facilities will be provided here. Even these schools will be equipped with as green schools with water conservation, water recycling, energy efficient infrastructure and integration of organic lifestyle in 
curriculum. Then what will be the aim of PM Shri schools? Quality of teaching, learning and cognitive development creating holistic and well-round individuals equipped with 21 century skills. Highly important friends. The selections will be done from the existing schools from the among schools that are managed by central government, state, union, territory or local body. So remember, I repeat, on teachers day, Prime Minister Narendra Modi released a centrally sponsored scheme that is PM Shri, that is Pradhan Mantri Schools for Rising India. Under this योजना 14,500 schools will be selected to develop under this particular scheme. Highly important. Moving on, Defence Expo will be held in Gandhi Nagar from 18 to 22 October. Mark this. Next, 36 national games will also be held in. Gujarat itself. Google launched India ki Udan to celebrate 75 years of independence. Mark this. Telangana launched Nithano Ku Bhima scheme for viewers. Samudriyan mission to send humans 6,000 meter deep in the ocean. Next, Microsoft. It became the first company to join the ONDC network. Maharashtra governor inaugurated 22nd Bharat Rang Mahotsav. Next, Center. Center has approved new coastal environmental zone plan in Karnataka. I repeat, Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi laid the foundation for eight projects worth 3,800 crore rupees at Goldfinch City in Mangalore, Karnataka and approved the state's revised coastal zone management plan. Karnataka is the first state in the southern India and the only second state after Goa in India to get the CZMP and what is CZMP? It is your coastal zone management plan. Highly important. So first was your Goa and after Goa it is the first southern state in India that will be getting this coastal zone management plan. Here remember the center has also given the approval for the development of the Majali port. Where is this Majali port? This is in Karwar and this cost will cost around 3350 crore rupees. If we talk about Karnataka, who is the chief minister of Karnataka? Basavraj Bhumai sir. In Karnataka, Kambala festival is very famous. It is a buffalo race. And then remember, this center has approved this new coastal environmental zone plan in which state in Karnataka and it is the second state in India, first state in the southern region and the first state in Pan India was your Goa which got their new coastal environment zone. One more thing friends that I need to tell you regarding the content that we provide you. Say for example, we are providing you pocket wise PDF. We are providing you topic wise current affairs. We are providing you weekly current affairs. We are providing you monthly current affairs PDF also top 100 questions PDF. So remember pocket wise uh, pocket PDF and your topic wise PDF. They will be released on the 7th of every month. All right on the 7th then weekly they are provided to you every seven days. All right. We make sure that every seven days you are provided with weekly current affairs for monthly and top 100 questions. Remember on 10th of every month. Or before the 10th of every month, you will be provided with the monthly current affairs PDF. All right, friend. The important thing that I want to mention here is that we provide content in English as well as in Hindi. To all the students who are looking for the content of PDF in Hindi, because I have seen many times the students are asking for Hindi PDF, the content in Hindi. So students, for those students, those who are looking for Hindi content, you can check our Carriers Cloud application from where you can download the uh, from the Google Store. You can download the app and from that particular application, Carriers Cloud application, you will be able to see various courses that are offered by us. And in those courses, we offer you Hindi PDF along with English content also. All right. So the students, those who are aiming for Hindi content, they can definitely check our Hindi PDFs also that are provided on the courses that are offered by us on our Carriers Cloud application. Next, next we will be talking about some cities that have joined the UNESCO's global network of learning cities. Highly important. First is your Nilambur and Thissur. Nilambur and Thissur, they are in Kerala and Varangal is in Telangana. So remember these cities, these are three cities, first, second and third. Nilambur, 
Thrissur and Warangal. These are the three cities that has been joined in the or that have joined the UNESCO's Global Network of Learning Cities. Highly important that is G and L C Global Network of Learning Cities. The UNESCO's G L N C. Basically, what is it? It is an international policy oriented network providing inspiration, know how, and best practices among it. Then this has honored 77 cities from 44 countries in 2022 in recognition of their outstanding work to make lifelong learning a reality for all at the local level. That is the reason here. Nilambur and Thrissur, they both are in Kerala. And what was in Telangana? Warangal. Warangal of Telangana. These are the three cities that have been or that have earned the recognition from the UNESCO after becoming the India's first entrance to the UNESCO's global network of learning cities. Highly important. So remember Nilambur and Thrissur are in Kerala and Warangal of Telangana have earned their recognition for the UNESCO's India's first entrance in the UNESCO's global network of learning cities. Highly important. All right, if we talk about Thissur, Thissur is a cultural capital. It is a home to academic and research institute and it is well known for its gold and jewelry sector. So Thissur is basically for research institutes and gold and jewelry. All right, for Nilambur, it is popular for ecotourism. Nilambur is famous for ecotourism. And if we talk about Warangal, Warangal is basically second largest city next to Hyderabad and it is the state's capital. Moving on, if we talk about UNESCO, when can you tell me where is the headquarter of UNESCO? Where is the headquarter of UNESCO? It is in Paris. Paris is where? It is in France. All right. Moving on now. Next, we are talking about Ministry of Corporate Affairs has extended the company law committee tenure by one more year. I repeat, Ministry of Corporate Affairs has extended the company law committee's tenure by one more year. That is up to 16th of September 2023. So, question can indirectly be asked that recently, Ministry of Corporate Affairs has extended the company law committee tenure by one more year till what date it has been extended till 16th of September 2023 highly important here you can see that it was your Ministry of Corporate Affairs that has extended the company law committee it has been extended by one more year till 16th of September 2023 another thing remember that this tenure has already been extended twice in September 2020 then in September 2021 and it was constituted in 8th of September 2019. Moving on, that was a direct news. Moving on to Odisha. Odisha government has signed a memorandum of understanding with NIOT that is your National Institute of Ocean Technology for protecting coastline. MoBus service was also of Odisha. India added 11 more wetlands to the list of Ramsar sites and now the total of Ramsar sites in India is 75 and I told you how to remember this to remember it as that independence year how India has completed how many years of independence so 75 so remember how many Ramsar sites are there in India now 75 Ramsar sites then Bharat Biotech completed the trials for the first India's first intranasal vaccine Jammu and Kashmir government launched village defense guard scheme Assam government uh, Assam chief minister launched 1000 model of Anganwadi centers. This is also important. Next, Ministry of Information, uh, Ministry of Electronics, Information and Technology has nodded for 500 crore rupees Pune Electronics Manufacturing Cluster. I repeat, for the Pune's Electronic Manufacturing Cluster, recently Ministry of Electronics and Information and Technology has approved 500 crore rupees in Pune, Maharashtra. This will be built in the Pune's Ranjagaon phase 3 on 297 acres of land. So if we are talking about electronics manufacturing cluster for which 500 crore rupees was allocated or approved by which organization it was or by which ministry it was Ministry of Electronics and Information and Technology and where this will be built in Pune's 
Ranjan Gaon Phase 3 on 297 acres. This project is expected to attract around 2000 crore rupees in investment and this would receive nearly 208 crore rupees in funding from the government of India. All right, highly important. Similarly, if you remember, we were talking about semiconductor policy. So the first state to adopt semiconductor policy was your Gujarat. And if we talk about Semicon India, where was this held? It was held in Bangalore. Next, this modified electronics manufacturing cluster scheme. On 1st of April 2020, this modified EMC 2.0 scheme was announced with the aim of establishing electronic manufacturing companies to develop a strong ecosystem. The objective here will be to grant funding for the establishment of the common facility centers and electronic manufacturing cluster projects. Until 2023, the interested electronic manufacturing companies can seek financial support from the government of India. All right, moving on. Next, we are talking about Digital India Mission. Uttar Pradesh has stopped in the disposable and entry of the cases via e-prosecution portal. Repeat, if we talk about disposable and entry of cases via e-prosecution portal, that means through online, which state has stopped here? It is your Uttar Pradesh has secured the top position with 9.12 million cases hold the top spot in terms of number of cases entered and disposed through e-prosecution portal. This is administered by the government of India as a part of Digital India mission. Just remember the data, it will be beneficial for you. All right. Next, some important key points that you need to remember here is that in the total number of cases that entered, Madhya Pradesh came in second place with 2.31 cases. Here you can see of UP, it was 9.12 million cases. And for Madhya Pradesh, it was 2.31 million cases that was followed by Bihar with 859,000 cases followed by Gujarat with 487,000 and Chhattisgarh with 383,000 cases. With around 470,000 entries, UP surpasses all other states in the online cases disposable on this portal, followed by MP with 1,70,000 cases, Gujarat with 125,000 or 1,25,000 cases. So we can say directly that in terms of most number of cases entered and the most number of cases disposed via e-prosecution portal, uh, Uttar Pradesh has top position in both the categories. In the top number of cases entered, it was your Uttar Pradesh with 9.12 million cases and most number of cases that were disposed was also Madhya, was also your Uttar Pradesh with 4,70,000 entries that was online case disposed. Moving on friends. Next, important, which is the first law school in India under National Education Policy 2020, which is the first university, you can say first law school. So it will be your IILM University Law School, that is your Institute of Integrated Learning in Management in Greater Noida that launched their first NEP 2020 Compilent Law School in India. The aim here is to evaluate the, uh, evaluate the or to develop the legal education system in India highly important all right it is your iim your university's law school that is institute of integrated learning and management in greater noida that launched the first national education policy 2020 compilant law school in india highly important friends all right next rajpath has been renamed to what another important question friends take a note of it rajpath has been renamed to what Highly important. So remember, the government of India decided to rename the historic Rajpath in New Delhi as Kartavya Path. So what is the new name of Rajpath? It has been renamed to Kartavya Path. The road and the area from the Netaji statue at the India Gate to the Rashtrapati Bhavan will be now known as Rajpath. Uh, will be now known as Kartavya Path. All right. From Netaji statue at India Gate to Rashtrapati Bhavan will now be known as Kartavya Deva that was earlier known as Rajpath. All right. Earlier during British rule, Rajpath was also known as Kingsway, named after King George V. All right. Also remember friends, the New Delhi Municipal Corporation that is NDMC will have a special meeting on 7th of September with the objective of renaming Rajpath and Central Vista launch as Kartavya Path. So it is your new name is Kartavya Path of Delhi's 
राजपथ दैट वॉज अर्लियर नोन एज राजपथ नाउ इट विल बी नोन एज कर्तव्य पथ गुस्तावो पैत्रो फर्स्ट नाउ सम इंपॉर्टेंट अपॉइंटमेंट है गुस्तावो पैत्रो हैज सोन इन एज द कोलंबिया फर्स्ट लेफ्ट इज प्रेजिडेंट संजय अग्रवाल अपॉइंटेड एज द असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल कॉप्स रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर द सेमी एरे ट्रॉपिक्स प्रमोद कुमार अपॉइंटेड एज द सी एफ ओ ऑफ द पावर ग्रेड कॉरपोरेशन चीफ फाइनेंशियल ऑफिसर जेम्स मरापे हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ पेपुआ न्यू गिनिया गोपाल विट्टल रीअपॉइंटेड एज द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ एयरटेल ऋषभ पंत अपॉइंटेड एज द ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ उत्तराखंड अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट फ्यूल फ्लिप एनर्जी डेवलप्स इंडिया फर्स्ट एयर गैस मिक्सचर आई रिपीट फ्यूल फ्लिप दैट इज इंडिया फर्स्ट कंपनी टू मैन्युफैक्चर एयर गैस मिक्सचर अ प्रोडक्ट दैट इज मेड इन इंडिया आफ्टर कंप्लीट रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट फॉर ओवर सिक्स ईयर्स फ्यूल फ्लिप एनर्जी इज एन इम्पैक्ट टेक्नोलॉजी स्टार्टअप द एम हेयर इज टू प्रोवाइड क्लीन एयर एंड रिड्यूस द हार्श इन्वायरमेंटल इफेक्ट ऑफ यूजिंग डीजल जनरेटर द कंपनी हैड डेवलप द इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग आई ओ टी टू एनेबल ड्यूल फ्यूल कन्वर्जन सिस्टम फॉर ड्यूजल डीजल जनरेटर्स और राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट आई रिपीट दिस फ्यूल फ्लिप कंपनी दैट इज फ्यू फ्यूल फ्लिप एनर्जी इज द फर्स्ट कंपनी टू डेवलप अ एयर गैस मिक्सचर ऑल्सो वेरियस कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस ड्यूल फ्यूल सिस्टम आर इम्पोर्टेड फ्रॉम वेरियस कंट्रीज सच एज इटली जर्मनी एंड यू एस ए सो कमिंग बैक वॉट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दैट फ्यूल फ्लिप एनर्जी इज द इंडिया फर्स्ट और फर्स्ट कंपनी इन इंडिया टू मैन्युफैक्चर एयर गैस मिक्सचर दैट इज अ प्रोडक्ट दैट इज मेड इन इंडिया बट सम प्रोडक्ट्स आर इम्पोर्टेड फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कंट्रीज एंड दिस कंपनी दिस फ्यूल फ्लिप द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दिस स्टार्टअप विल बी इट विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग क्लीन एयर एंड इट विल रिड्यूस द इन्वायरमेंटल इफेक्ट ऑफ द डीजल जनरेटर्स दैट वी आर यूजिंग एंड क्रिएटिंग पॉल्यूशन इन आर एनवायरमेंट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्रीज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स हैज रिलीज अ रिपोर्ट दैट वॉज द ट्वेंटी एथ एडिशन ऑफ द स्टेटस रिपोर्ट ऑन इंडिया एक्सटर्नल डेप्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट दैट मीन्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ट्वेंटी एथ एडिशन ऑफ इंडिया एक्सटर्नल डेप्ट दिस रिपोर्ट वॉज पब्लिश बाय एक्सटर्नल डेप्ट मैनेजमेंट यूनिट अंडर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस here the report offers a comprehensive analysis that states that india's external debt is rising according to this data the external debt of india at the end of march 2022 was 620.7 billion dollar and now we can see a rise in the debt all right look at this data this is for the march 2022 620.7 billion dollar this is the debt of india but if we compare it to the march one of 2021 the debt of india was 573.7 billion dollar so you can definitely see that in a time period of one year the debt of india has increased by over 8.2% so you need to remember that india's external debt is rising what was the debt in march 2021 it was 573.7 billion dollar for march 2020 the debt was 620.7 billion dollar and this data was released during the 28th edition of the india's external debt a status report that was published by external debt management unit all right these are all the things that you need to remember moving on here you can see the india's external debt increased from 570 3.7 billion dollar at end of march 2021 to 620.7 billion dollar at the end of 2020 to with an increase of 8.2% while 53.2 was it in us dollars and 31.2% was of the indian rupees next hall hindustan aeronautics limited lnt that is your larsen and tobo has recently signed a pact to build five pslv rockets that will uh, provide 860 crore rupees deal from nsil for the project i repeat hindustan aeronautic limit and larsen and turbo were given 860 crore rupees deal for developing of five pslv that is your polar satellite launch vehicle and i have told you there are other satellite launch vehicles such as geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle and recently a small satellite launch vehicle was also being in progress because we want this to be developed because this can carry small satellites and with the help of this small satellite launch vehicle we will be able to or isro will be able to send satellites into space after every week or so because they are small satellites they are they are in the size of a shoe box 
so coming back it was hall and lnt that will be building five polar satellite launch vehicle rockets and for that they were provided with 860 crore rupees deal from nsil what is nsil can you give me the full form it is new space india limited new space india limited highly important it is a department of space under isro and they have signed a service level agreement with the industry for production so coming back friends what you all need to remember it is hindustan aeronautics limited and lnt that have signed a project to develop five polar satellite launch vehicles for 860 crore rupees and these 860 crore rupees were provided to them by whom nsil that is new space india limited highly important friends all right this project was announced on 5th of september at the 7th edition of the biennial bangalore space expo which was organized by the confederation of indian industry in association with isro so you need to remember this also that this bangalore space expo was which edition of this was held recently it was the 7th edition of this expo was held recently that was organized by whom it was organized by cii in association with isro and here this project was given to hindustan aeronautics limits and lnt that they will be provided with 860 crore rupees by ns uh, nsil and they will be developing what they will be developing five polar satellite launch vehicles all right next dalai lama honored with the ladakh's highest civilian award important professor ramdhar became the first indian psychologist on the us heritage wall of fame arya volvekar crowned as the miss india us 2022 marina tabasum won the lisbon millennial bcp lifetime achievement award shashi tharoor received the france highest civilian honor chevalier de legion de honor so remember this this is also important 1082 police personal award awarded to police medals in 2022 highly important i repeat 1082 police personals were awarded with police medal in 2022 next we were talking about the sahitya puraskar sahitya puraskar of the lok nayak foundation that was the 18th edition of the lok nayak foundation award this award was presented to a telugu writer actor tanikela bharani i repeat Tanikela Bharani in Vizag was awarded with the Sahitya Puraskar and that to the 18th edition of this Sahitya Puraskar. It was presented to this by whom? By Lok Nayak Foundation. Highly important. All right. So Telugu writer and actor Tanikela Bharani was presented with the annual Sahitya Puraskar of Lok Nayak Foundation. That was the eighth edition of the Lok Nayak Foundation award, and this was awarded at Vizag. that is in visakhapatnam andhra pradesh also you need to remember that this award is also known as andhra pradesh or andhra gyanpeet it is a cash prize with 2 lakh rupees so it is a gyanpeet so remember gyanpeet is given in the field of literature all right this award is given annually to the eminent telugu literature or a poet or a person credited with service for the cause of telugu literature as i told you gyanpeet award is given in the field of literature and specifically andhra lit uh, andhra gyanpeet this means this award will be given in the field of telugu literature to do their service or to promote this language this award was presented generally the award is presented on 18th of january annually to mark the death anniversary of the former chief minister nt rama rao and writer harivansh rai bachchan ji so coming back friends it was your sahitya puraskar of lok nayak foundation that was presented to whom tanikela bharani and this was the 18th edition of the lok nayak foundation award that was presented to her at a ceremony at visakhapatnam andhra pradesh moving on friends who has been appointed as the new chairman and managing director of shipping corporation of india so remember bk tyagi captain bk tyagi has been appointed as the chairman and managing director of shipping corporation of india that is a navratna central public sector enterprise highly important all right he has been appointed for a period of 5 years his appointment was signed by acc that is appointment committee of the cabinet remember if we talk about bk tyagi he joined the shipping corporation of india in 1990 and if we talk about the shipping corporation of india who will be the chairman and managing director now binesh kumar tyagi 
बट हु इज बिनेश कुमार त्यागी बी के त्यागी सो कैप्टन बी के त्यागी द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ बी के हेयर इज कैप्टन बिनेश कुमार त्यागी रिमेंबर दैट ऑल्सो इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन दिस शिपिंग कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया ऑन सेकेंड अक्टूबर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन वेर इज द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ शिपिंग कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया इट इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र मूविंग ऑन यू कैन सीम इन द पिक्चर बिनेश कुमार त्यागी और कैप्टन बी के त्यागी हैज टेकन ओवर एज द चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ शिपिंग कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया टेनिस लेजेंड सेरेना विलियम्स हैज अनाउंस्ड हर रिटायरमेंट फोर्टी एंड रिमेंबर वेन शी वॉज प्लेइंग हर लास्ट मैच शी वोर अ शूज दैट वॉज फिटेड विद डायमंड फोर्टी फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ चेस ओलंपियड वॉज कंक्लूडेड एंड इंडियाज मैन एंड वीमेन टीम हैज वन द ब्रॉन्ज मेडल एंड दिस वॉज द फोर्टी फोर्थ एडिशन दिस वॉज हेल्ड इन tamilnadu and who has been appointed as the deputy president of chess of fight he is vishwanath anand the first grand master of india sunil chetri and manisha kallan named as the aiff footballer of the year if we talk about the men aiff footballer of the year sunil chetri and women footballer of the year manisha kallan and one more thing uh, earlier fifa has banned the aiff from the uh, from taking part in any international cricket football match but now the band has been lifted the reason of the band was that there was a third party influence in aiff then bhavani devi has won gold medal at the commonwealth fencing championship of 2020 to remember this bhavani devi she is related to which sport she is related to fencing then the first edition of women's ipl where was this held when was this held this will be held in march 2023 first edition of the women's ipl in march 2023 next cci that is competition commission of india has approved the final acquisition of 100% equity share capital of india is dot limited or build desk by the payu payments private limited i repeat recently cci that is your competition commission of india has approved the 100% stake of the equity share of the build desk or india's ideas limited by payu payments private limited highly important who will be acquirer payu payments private limited and what is the target company that is being acquired it is india is dot com direct you have to remember this next next also is about acquisition uh reliance industries to acquire 79.4 percent stake in a u.s based sense hawk for 32 million dollar and this sense hawk is basically remember what is this sense of doing and if you have seen on social media platforms also that got uh, mukesh ambani mukesh ambani has recently invested in a solar energy company and this is the name of that solar energy company that is sense hawk what is this it is a solar energy company that is sense hawk and reliance industries will acquire 79.4 percent stake in this us based sense hawk company that is a solar energy based company for 32 million dollar here you have to remember the amount also all right and the mukesh ambani who is the chairman and managing director has collaborated with sense hawk so that they can revolutionize the solar energy sector and their aim is to generate 10 uh, 100 gigawatt of solar energy by the year 2030 if you remember recently that gautam adani will also be providing energy to bangladesh now all right remember this news also moving on to commonwealth games of 2020 laksha sen has won gold medal in the men single badminton swastik uh, satvik and chirag pair has won the gold medal in the men's double badminton Sharath Kamal has won gold medal in the table tennis men single title and India has finished fourth with 61 medals comprising 22 gold 16 silver and 23 bronze Neeraj Chopra who is known as the golden boy did not take part in commonwealth games because of his injuries Moving on another sport related information that BCCI has announced that Mastercard will be their title sponsor for their international and domestic cricket matches in India I repeat BCCI has uh, announced that and what is BCCI board of control of for cricket in India BCCI approved that or announced that Mastercard will be the title sponsor for international as well as domestic cricket matches in India highly important Mastercard will hold the 
title sponsorship rights for the year 2022 to 2023 and mastercard will replace whom they have replaced paytm after the digital payment company paytm reported backed out of its deal with the indian cricket board so highly important friends who is the new title sponsor for domestic as well as international cricket matches in india it will be your mastercard if we talk about bcci who is the president Saurav Ganguly and where is the headquarter it is in Mumbai Maharashtra when was this founded in 1928 BCCI was founded next next we are talking about badminton japan's kenta nishimoto has won the men single title at japan open 2022 and japan's akane yamaguchi has won the women single title so remember if we are talking about japan open japan's kenta nishimoto has won the men single title and japan's akane yamaguchi has won the women single title at japan open 2022 direct information all right next next we will be talking about president murmu ma'am she has appointed justice m durai swami as the chief justice of madras high court direct appointment all right direct appointment who he will be replacing justice m durai swami will be replacing chief justice munishwar nath bandari ji all right so three things you need to remember recently who has been appointed as the chief justice of madras high court justice m durra swami and this justice m durai swami was appointed by whom president dropdi murmu ma'am and he will be replacing whom munsiwar nath bandari ji moving on atel atel has partnered with odisha to offer bill payment solutions i repeat atel has partnered with which state to offer the bill payment solution it was your odisha All right so Bharti Airtel has launched a project in partnership with Tata Power Northern Odisha Distribution Limited to offer payment solutions to over 2 million registered customers this initiative will mobilize 4000 banking points of Airtel payment bank in North Odisha and this APB that is Airtel payment bank has nearly 5 lakh outlets across the country so direct thing you need to remember that it was your Airtel Bharti Airtel or airtel company that has partnered with odisha government to offer the bill payment solution online bill payment solution so that's all for the day friends now it's time for a quick revision if we talk about pm shri yojana this was launched by prime minister narendra modi to upgrade 14500 schools across india and to provide there with better facilities then center government has approved the new cz mp in karnataka laid foundation worth 3800 crore rupees in mangalore UNESCO's Global Network of Learning Cities 2022 here Thrissur Nilambur of Kerala and Varangal of Telangana became the first entrants from India MCA has extended the tenure of the company law committee to by one more year that is till September 2023 then ministry of electronics information and technology approved 500 crore rupees pune electronics manufacturing cluster project digital india mission here up has stopped in the disposable as well as number of entry of the cases via e prosecution portal then iilm university law school is india's first nep 2022 compliant law school government to rename delhi's rajpath as kartavya path fuel flip this is important Fuel Flip Energy developed India's first air gas mixture. It is to purify the mixture, uh, purify the air to provide clean air, and it will be provide beneficial against the effect of burning of diesel. Then retail payment products of HDFC Bank Precision Biometrics chosen for the test phase under RBI's regulatory sandbox. You can read this directly from the PDF. If you have any queries, you can comment below. Then Ministry of Finance released the 28th edition of the status report on India's external debt 21-22. Five PSLV rockets will be built by HCL and LNT, and for this they were provided with 860 crore rupees deal from NSIL. Lok Nayak Foundation Sahitya Puraskar presented to Tanileka Bharani in Vizag, that is Vishaka Patnam, Andhra Pradesh. All right, and this award is also known as Andhra Gyan Pit Award. Then next is Capital B K Captain B K Tyagi has been appointed as the Chairman and Managing Director of Shipping Corporation of India. C C I has approved the acquisition of 100% of equity share capital of I I L by PayU India. Next R I L acquired 79.4% stake in Seahawk that is a solar energy company for 32 million dollar. Mastercard acquires the title sponsorship rights for BCCI international and domestic payments. So, Mastercard has replaced whom? Paytm. 
बैडमिंटन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट जापान ओपन सो जापान कैंटा निशिमोटो हैज वन द मैन सिंगल टाइटल एंड जापान अकाने यामागुची हैज वन द वीमेन सिंगल टाइटल एट द जापान ओपन 2022 देन प्रेसिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू अपॉइंटेड जस्टिस एम दूरास्वामी एज द न्यू चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ मद्रास हाईकोर्ट एंड भारतीय एयरटेल हैज अपॉइंटेड ओडिशा टू ऑफर बिल पेमेंट सोल्यूशन सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर योर homework homework questions are important so do pay attention and no cheating while commenting the answers list trust very important she has been named as the new prime minister of which country and she was fighting with rishi sunak all right rishi sunak was her opponent now it will become easy for you next what is the name of the mascot for the 36th national games that was held in ahmedabad gujarat what is the name of that particular mascot next Which state hosted the conclave of state science and technology ministers? Fourth, which is the first country to approve needle-free inhaled version of COVID-19 vaccines? Fifth, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres appointed former president of which country as the new special envoy for Afghanistan? So these are your five homework question, friends. I want you all to comment below the answer of each and every because they will be very helpful for your revision purpose. So that's all for the day, friends. If you find the session interesting, do comment below and let us know what are your views on such sessions. That's all for the day. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for the day friends I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue